Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be talking about a couple of products that I regret buying. I always love watching these videos just because even though I like knowing what people love and recommend, I also like knowing what kind of products I should avoid. And honestly, some of the products I'm mentioning here are good products, some of them are not, don't get me wrong, but some of them are pretty good. It's just like the color's off or something, so I kind of regret purchasing it for me personally. So if you do love any of these products, go ahead and keep using them. Leave a comment down below if maybe I'm using something wrong. I don't know. And I also want to hear what you guys regret buying because, you know, I want to know what I should not spend my hard-earned money on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. The first product I have here is not even opened. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. The reason I regret purchasing this is because the shade is so off. First of all, there was that whole kerfuffle about them not even including um, women of color in their shade range, which was absolute BS. I originally purchased it to review before even seeing the shade range. And then one, I didn't feel comfortable reviewing it if not everyone could go out and purchase it if I liked it. Two, the shade that Tarte matched me to doesn't even match me, so why would I wear it? Like I even took their like quiz, like that's like, ooh, what shade should you get? Because I was kind of skeptical about purchasing it online, and that's really the only way that you can get your hands on this in Canada. So I took their little quiz, and it this foundation is just way too dark for me. You can't really see it right there, but even the tone is really off. It's super, super orange. Like I'm not even sure if I would be able to wear this in the summer just because it's so pink toned. And I have neutral to even slightly yellow undertones so the fact that this is just so pink I, I don't think I'll ever be able to use it so that sucks and I've emailed Tarte about returning it and I don't really like their return policy because I have to pay for shipping to ship it back to them and then they're like oh we'll give you your right color but I don't think they have my color is the issue so yeah I wanted a full refund on this but it doesn't look like I'm gonna get it so that is why I regret this purchase and it was expensive too next I wasn't sure if I should include this because I didn't technically purchase it as a student I really didn't have a lot of money at the time that she gave this to me me. and I do appreciate that she thought of me but I just really don't like this product this is the Marcel face powder it's just a drugstore powder and it's supposed to be translucent but it makes my face so orange I'm not sure if you can see but it's a little bit dark it's also very pink so when I put it on it just makes everything look orange and a lot darker it makes everything oxidize I've tried it with so many you can't even really see it there it's right here you can even see it kind of has like a pinky orange tone on my pale ass skin so yeah i i really can't stand the look of my face products when i use this product so i'm, I'm just gonna have to get rid of it it's just it's not good it makes my skin look awful. Next are a pair of lashes that I just can't get on board with. I see a lot of beauty YouTubers use these lashes and they love them and they look so nice on other people but I just regret purchasing them because they just look weird on me. These are the Ardell Wispy lashes and they look pretty in the case but they're just too natural and they look a little bit like scraggly on me almost like I'm wearing spiders on my eyes. They look really pretty on a lot of other people but just not for me and I keep purchasing it. That's that's the part that drives me crazy is I'll buy a pair and then I'll get rid of them because I don't like them. And then next time I go to Sally's, I pick another one up because I'm like, oh, well, you know, they look so nice on everyone else. Maybe I should give it another shot. I've bought like five pairs of these and I don't like them. So I don't understand why I do that. I don't know if it's just like a personal thing, my like my personal eye shape that makes them look weird, but I don't know, they're affordable. So if you want to give them a try, you can, but I personally regret purchasing them. Next are a couple of lip products that I I thought were supposed to be good. I could have sworn that I heard people talk about these and like in a positive way. These are the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lips. I really like Wet n Wild. They have some amazing products. So when I saw these in the store, I picked a couple up and then I brought them home and they are just so patchy, not really pigmented and they're kind of uncomfortable. I find they're a little bit sticky and they're pretty streaky. I feel like I have to put on like, 
10 layers just to even get the product to build up and they look pigmented in the swatches so I don't really know what's going on there. This is the shade Pink Really Hard and this is the shade Nudist Peach and they're really pretty colors but the formula I just can't get over it. It's so streaky, it's not that pigmented and they're not even that comfortable so I don't know. I just I would not repurchase those and I regret buying them in the first place. Next are two liquid liners. These are the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. They just look like this. They look like a little liquid eyeliner. And the reason I don't like these is because these burn the shit out of my eyes. Like they hurt so bad and they're really pretty. They're really pretty. So that kind of makes me sad, but like they hurt. I used these ones and I got a little bit in my eye and I had to take my makeup off just because my eyes were just so irritated and watering. I find they're really pretty as like an eye topper, but they just make my eyes sting so bad that no matter how pretty they are, I just, I can't use them. And the thing is, okay, so they're called liquid crystal liners. And then on the cap, it says not intended to be used around the eye area. So what are they for? They're liners, what, I, I don't understand. I don't understand, like what else would you use? Glitter suspended in gel, like where else would you use that? I don't know, if you have any suggestions for how I could use these two, I don't know, let me know because I, at this point, I really regret purchasing them. The last three products that I have are highlighters and I'll just get the um, high end one out of the way. This is the Matchsticks in the color Starstruck. And the reason I don't like this, first of all, it's kind of stiff. I did like it at first when I first applied it to my face. I think I have a video of when I did that. But honestly, I just, this is it right here. It just is a nice sheen. But then I find as I blend it out, it just kind of looks like glitter on my face. So the more I use this, the more I don't like it. I don't really like like a glittery highlight. I just, I don't like chunks of glitter on my face. I want to try the other colors that don't have shimmer in them. Just because I feel like I like the formula and stuff but I just don't like the glitteriness so maybe something that's more of a cream finish would be better for me but yeah I just I don't like this the more I use it the more I regret purchasing it next um, this isn't more so about the product as it is the color this is the physicians formula butter highlight and I just got so excited because it took me so long to be able to find these in store everything is so late coming to Canada so when I saw this I was like I need one and I got the shade pink. I don't know who I thought this was gonna highlight because it's definitely not me. They smell really good and they're kind of a cream. They're not a powder highlight. And I mean, the color of it is what the name says. It's straight up pink shimmer. So I just, I like the formula. Honestly, I don't even know if I like the formula because I can't wear it. I just, I've never, I haven't really tried it, but it's just a color thing. If you're pale, don't get this shade. They should have something that's a lot lighter. I just didn't find it in store and yeah. So if you're pale, don't get this color. You'll regret it. You can't use it. And the last product is the NYX Duo Chrome Illuminating Powder. I don't know why I purchased this. I really don't. I think I thought that it would be cool for a look and it was inexpensive. So I've figured, you know, it's different and I don't know. I don't know if you can tell, but it's white with like a blue shift and I don't know when I thought I was gonna wear this but I bought it like a year and a half ago and I haven't used it once so again it's nothing on the formula or the brand or anything it's just my personal preference I just don't like it and honestly I regret purchasing it and I don't even know why I did in the first place I don't know what drew me to this color but it just kind of makes my skin look gray if you see that it's right here it just it's like a silvery highlight and it just makes me look ashy whenever i put it on so as soon as i put it on i always take it off i don't think i've worn this out once so yeah this is definitely a regret they do have a lot of other shades so some of those might be pretty but as far as this color goes definitely not my best purchase oh this is in the shade twilight tint as well if you were wondering and that is it for my little products i regret buying video please let me know in the comments what you regret buying because this is like my favorite topic like what just didn't work for you i just feel like it's such an honest topic and i just want to know what you guys regret purchasing so we can discuss so please leave a comment down below please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you next time bye